The main focus and goal of my research is to prove that artistic engagement is incredibly valuable for society and really bringing in psychological evidence to reinforce that. So a lot of the work I've done is looking at individual differences in perception and how artists might see the world in a different way. A particular dichotomy that's interesting is the ability to focus on little details of the visual scene versus getting the global gist. And what I find in a lot of my research is that they're really good at that relative to non-artists. So they're used to viewing the world in this very flexible way. When you're looking at a painting, it's not just this passive perceptual process where you're taking in the visual information, but you're also almost recreating the content within the work, but also the process that was taken to generating it. So it's really treating aesthetic experience as an embodied process rather than just this passive perceptual one. So it's quite a radical change from the way that people have thought about aesthetics historically. So we're starting to do studies where we're looking at how drawing might help you to understand scientific concepts and looking at how these visual and spatial skills developed through art design training might be applied elsewhere. The skills that artists develop as a result of seeing the world in a different way have really broad implications for the way that we can learn and connecting with the visual world, being expressive. It's a really important feature that could be cultivated in anyone.